Okay, so we're still here at the park. Now, some people pulled next to me. Can you move your head? I can't see. I can't spy. Oh, oh. Move your head. So they pulled next to me. And, oh, that's a cute little, what? This is a cute little poodle. They, um, you know, looked at me suspiciously. Move. I can't see. What's going on? Can't just spy. Hang on. So, they pulled suspiciously next to me. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to get carjacked. You know, I'm in Chicago. So, and it was a bunch of kids in a car. And then they peeled out. Well, they didn't peel out, but they swished out. And they were going to go leave the park. And then they backed up. And then they kind of looked like they were heading towards me. I'm like, oh my God, they're going to come back and get me. What's and then they switched you know, directions and they went and parked in front of the, um, where, where the people walk in the playground. So then they were there and I'm like, oh my God, they're looking for a kid. They're looking for a kid. Cause there's a high school right over there. And, um, so they're sitting in their car and then I hear them yell, come here. And then these two big, beautiful, um, mm -hmm. Poodles, standard poodles, the big ones, come running up to their car, and he gets out, and they're like so happy to see him, and I'm like, he lost his dogs, because um, there's houses, their house is back there. Yeah, she, well, behind the park, it looks like there's houses back there. So maybe they drove, they ran over here, you know, the dogs. But the thing is, he didn't put the dogs in the car. He's still sitting there. The dogs are off leash, and they seem to listen to him really well. Cooper's growling because there's someone else parking. Mm -hmm. My neck hurts me so bad I can't even turn. But, um, yeah. And there's, there's you know what's ahead, so he don't know where to look. That one just hopped. So, move, move, move your head. Something's going on. Move your head. I got my little pupil that I could look out. They're still sitting in the car. I don't know where the dogs went. So, but I'm like, I don't know if he's letting them run still. But they're not supposed to be off leash, number one. But they, they look like so happy. But some people are like afraid of dogs because they walk over here because they're afraid of Cooper. And he didn't, he's not even barking at people anymore. He's, like, used to it. And there was a, a group of handicapped, um, like Down syndrome and, you know, cerebral palsy. Kids here the other day, you know, uh, young adults. And Cooper seemed to like them. He wanted to go by them. He seems to know. He seems to know people. Yes. Can you sit down? I can't see it. When, oh, block my view. So, I don't know why they didn't put the dogs in the car and leave. Because they're not out with the dogs. So, and I don't see the dogs running. So, to be continued. Oh, but look at the party. There's the parts. I don't know if you can see that one standing right. Oh, no, he flew away. Oh, and there, see the squirrels way out there. Um. Oh. He's saying something. People talk so loud. Talk so loud. So, um, I'm just gonna sit here and spy. And, um, yeah, that's what I do. I mean, I can't help if people talk loud. I can't help it if I'm, like, just sitting here looking. I just see what I see. But it's, it's like 60-some degrees. So, as long as he's not fussing to go anywhere, I'm gonna wait till, um, he has to poop. Because I bought this thing, this, um, to put on your dashboard, and it says, um, universal for every phone. No. It doesn't fit my phone. So, I'm going to return it, and I've been wanting to get new tennis shoes anyway, so I'll probably get store credit, and maybe a new shirt or something. Maybe a dress. I don't think they're... 
changing rooms are open. But for the birthday party, I don't know. So I'm going to go to Burlington Co Factory, waste my gas, because I just filled up. I just filled up my car, because I wasted a lot of gas yesterday. Um, but yeah, we got to wait, because it's not 9.30 yet. And so that's what we're doing. We're spying at the park, trying to figure out what this dog situation is, and why didn't he let them in the car. And there's, they're like um, butterscotch color. Uh, I love poodles, so, but okay, see you later. Oh, I saw the, we're getting ready to go to return that phone thing that didn't work, but I saw the the poodle, this big standard poodle mystery, um, when I drove past because Cooper was barking at the squirrels, so we had to go to a different location, and they both pooed and peed, so yay. Um, that's always a good thing got that out of them and now I'm leaving to go to Burlington Co Factory which is I don't know um, maybe five I don't think it's ten minutes away it's a couple I'm a Kedzi then I gotta go to Pulaski and it's off Cicero and yeah it's you know not too many blocks away so I'm going to return that. Good thing I checked it before I left this area. Um, but the poodles were right in front of a tree. The car was right in front of a tree. And the poodles were laying right by the tree. So, um, I mean, they got away from the guy once. He had to go searching for them. So, they were off leash. Um, so I'd be afraid they would bolt again. But I guess he wasn't worried. And maybe he didn't want to put them straight in the car because maybe next time, maybe they've done this before. And also, you know, you don't want to punish a dog. You know, you want to make him come to you. So if these dogs want to be out and free and running around, if they need that, you know, you don't want to be like, get over here and, and drag him into a car and then take him home and put him in a cage or something or punish him. So maybe that was his theory. So he let them, on, and maybe they were dirty, who knows, maybe they were wet, and he wasn't going to let them in the car, who knows, but, oh, God. Um, so, that was the mystery of the dogs. So the dogs were there, right in front of his car, like how I keep Cooper on his long leash. Once in blue moon, I'll come and sit in the car if I'm organizing something and a maid is in here. Um, I'll let, and no one's really the, at the park. I'll let him be out there on the leash by the by the tree, even though he's hooked to my car. So they were kind of watching the dogs right there, and they were laying right by the tree. So, and then when I left um, after picking up his poop, Cooper's poop, I noticed that the car was gone and, and the dogs were gone. So they, oh, there's there's God. He's shining through. So. Um, that was the mystery solved of the poodles. But anyway, I'm going to go and return this uh, phone thing that was supposed to be universal for every phone. And no, it did not work. Talk to you later.